high. Is this gonna start already, Uma? I did have to kick her out for this one because there's a glass of water on my bed and she will knock it over. So, bye. Welcome to my bed. Don't make it weird, it's not weird, it's just a location. All right, it's comfortable. It's where we are today. I'm trying something different with this video and it's going to be very, very weird for me. I'm gonna try my best to do minimal editing on this video. I'm still gonna edit it. Like I'm still gonna cut out weird pauses and stuff because I can't resist, but I'm not going to meticulously go through second by second and decide whether or not to add an effect like I normally do. <laughs> and that's why my videos take so long to edit because I just need a minute. I just need to breathe. I need a minute. You may have noticed my past couple videos have been like a week apart or so where I was trying to upload every like three to four days and I could just feel myself getting burnt out. And that is really what I want to avoid. I don't want to feel that. That sucks. It's like the worst feeling. If you normally watch my videos for the editing, this one might not be for you. But with that being said, um, I hope you stick around. <laughs> So my lovely friend Ariana that a lot of you guys um, will know from the videos took me on a little beach date last summer and uh, brought this big bag of like paint stuff and we painted some little pictures on the beach and then she just left the bag at my house and hasn't taken it back for months and it's still here. So we're gonna put it to use today. I hope that there is enough in here. I don't really know what's in here. Well, I, that's a lie. I know there's watercolors, which is what we're gonna use because um, they're easier. As you can see by the title, uh, I'm just gonna like talk about mental health. Ha ha ha, what a surprise. And paint and just vibe. Vibe check. Um, <laughs> what is this? Aqua board. Oh, it's a watercolor surface. This is, they're small though. You know what? Who am I to size shame? Am I right? Let's, um, for best results, flush out the panel with water using a large flat watercolor brush. I don't know what a water, I don't know what a water, how low? I can't say the word watercolor. I don't know what a watercolor brush is and I can't be bothered to look it up, so bye. Sand in here. Wonder why. Ah! I don't know. Oh my god. Um, I also want to clarify that just like I don't know anything about cooking, I don't know anything about paint. So this is just me vibing. I don't know what they mean by flushing it out. Am I going to look up a tutorial? No. As I started to say, um, I've just been feeling a little Nah. You know, not horrible. I actually felt a little bit better today. I uh, streamed on Twitch tonight. It's after 2 a.m. right now. Then I had to get like all this stuff set up and whatever. So it took me a minute to actually start filming. Point is, <laughs> um, streaming always like makes me feel better. You know, it just lightens up my little mood a bit because you guys are just great and support me so much and make me laugh and stuff, you know. So I'm in a better mood than I was because I honestly like, oh, the hairs. Ariana, no offense, but these brushes are kind of trash. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use one of my brushes. Ooh, whoa. Oh, I love this already so much more than the acrylic paint, bye. Yeah, I honestly thought this video, like the tone of it was gonna be way more negative. <laughs> like I didn't want it to be too negative, obviously, but I'm just, bitch, I've been in it. Not like horrifically, but just nasty, you know? First, I was already feeling kind of like down in general. Um, no real reason at all, just depression. Hi. And that usually kind of honestly always happens right after the holidays because during the holidays, I'm kind of moving at kind of a fast pace. And you know, like Thanksgiving is a big thing in my family. So there's like a rush kind of of like a lot of activity and a lot of like socializing and whatnot. And then when January hits, it's kind of like, 
ah, like, what do I do now? January through April, I want to say, is usually pretty rough for me. I, I've started to notice that, like, especially last year. Last year was really rough. So I'm trying to, like, stick it out and just, like, keep swimming. I was feeling shitty. I was already feeling kind of, like, down and depressed. And then I got sick. Uh, right after filming my last video, the soup video, I was already feeling kind of nasty when I filmed that video. Like I started to have a sore throat, but that was kind of it. And then I think it was literally the next day or like two days after that, it got bad. Okay, that's dramatic. It wasn't that bad, but it was like noticeably worse than the night that I filmed that video. I like started to have a cough. I felt a little feverish, of course, with what's going on in the world right now. It's a little extra concerning, but already because of my existing health conditions, when I get sick, it hits me pretty hard no matter what it is. So I had to take it easy for a few days. And then just being sick made me feel depressed. Thankfully though, um, I wasn't sick for very long. It only lasted a few days. I went to the doctor pretty much immediately and like got an antibiotic. And within a few days of taking that, I felt pretty much completely normal again, which <laughs> made me think like, ooh, I'm gonna instantly feel better now, and my depression's gonna go away and everything. Um, surprise. Didn't happen. It's still here. Hi. Here she is. <laughs> but it's it hasn't been very cute. I've been procrastinating like a mad woman, like bad, dude, like bad really bad. It's been taking me forever to like answer emails and texts and just general adult thing taxes. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started, brother. I don't like to complain about what I do because I get to do something that's pretty damn cool, but it it makes the taxing process really complicated. And taxes are already complicated, so, haha, uh, you know. Um, so that's been like adding to my spiral because I'm like, I'm stupid. I don't know how to do anything. I'm not a real adult. I'm gonna lose all my money because I'm gonna do something wrong. Like, I, I don't know. And then I go into like self-destruct mode where I'm like, just like, let's order takeout every day. I would like to just pause and say that this is turning out pretty fun. Uh, even though it may sound like I'm miserable right now, I'm really not. I'm really okay. Like, the fact that I'm filming this video is a sign that I'm okay, because bitch, if I wasn't okay, bye. I would not be sitting in front of this camera right now. You know why? Because I wouldn't have set all of this up. I wouldn't have had the energy. Good night. I would have gotten off stream. I probably wouldn't have even, I wouldn't have even streamed. So, I'm, 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 I'm all right. This is relaxing as shit. Whoa. I'm gonna let it drip this way. Dude, this is actually <laughs> like a lot more fun than painting on that big, huge canvas. I thought painting on like a big canvas would be better, but this is kind of great because I can hold it in one little hand. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very amused. I also think what was contributing to like the burnt out feeling was that I didn't take my normal holiday break this year. And not that like I regret that or anything because I, I definitely don't, but um, I, I just think that the fact that I didn't take that month off is, is kind of contributing to like the bit of burnout that I'm feeling right now. Okay, I'm going to try with a new color now. Whoa. Sorry, it's like barely anything happened. I, I also do want to make it very known that like, I really appreciate all of your understanding and all of your patience. And I never want any of my venting to come off as like complaining because it, I truly feel like the luckiest person ever. And I, I said the same thing in, in the last video like this that I did because I, I don't want that to get misconstrued, you know? This looks dope. I'm sorry, but it does. I'm gonna let it sit flat for a second. But yeah, man, I'm just trying to na navigate that mental illness. You know what I'm saying? It's mental illness, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
I'm really glad that I have Janae here because that definitely helps, dude. Just having another person, let alone like my best friend, to talk to when my brain feels like it's attacking me. And what's so bizarre and like kind of almost frustrating is that I can somehow feel so gross and so like unmotivated and yet at the same time feel so lucky and blessed and grateful for everything that I do have. Because it's like, bitch, you know that you're grateful for all these things, so why can't you just like be happy? You know, like you really don't have it that bad, but just for some reason, like I can't allow myself sometimes to enjoy things. Like actually, I can't allow myself to enjoy things most of the time and I'm working on it. <laughs> I am. I, I have a new therapist. I forget if I've said that on here. I've definitely talked about it on my streams. I have a new therapist and he's fantastic. Uh, I, I, I tended to stick with therapists before, even if they weren't really working for me, just because I was afraid to, like, face that and be like, hey, this isn't working for me, bye. Because I was, like, afraid of hurting their feelings, which I guess is a normal human emotion, but it's also, like, this is their job, you're not in a relationship with them. I just, I couldn't get past that barrier until I finally was, like, okay, I've been seeing this person for almost a year and I feel like I'm getting absolutely nothing out of this, so let me explore my other options. And I did, and I found a new therapist, and it's like I... <laughs> what have I been doing for the past more than a year? Because I've seen a couple different therapists, and none of them worked until this guy. I finally feel like I'm making progress, um, which is ironic, because here I am talking about how I'm depressed, but... <laughs> My point is, like, I think working with this new therapist will, in the long run, like, really help. Even if I still feel kind of nasty right now. And I also, I want to take the second to say, like, if any of y'all are going through, like, similar things as me and you've been considering going to therapy, basically, if you're able to do it, but you're just kind of afraid to, I would 1000% urge you to do it. I don't like that there can be a stigma around therapy that only that if you are in therapy, you're out of your mind. Bye. <laughs> like, we're all out. Sorry, my camera cut off. But what I was going to say was we're all out of our minds. A little bit. You're not better than anyone because you, you don't go to therapy or you don't need it. You know, I think anyone... Anyone would benefit from going to therapy. Good night. My little opinion. Um, okay. I, I want to put this one to the side and start another one with different colors. I'll probably come back to that one though because it's not quite where I want it to be yet. I also, like, I hope you guys, my little insecurities are starting to set in. I hope you guys uh, also, like, don't think that these are the types of videos I'm going to be making now. Like, just me sitting and complaining to my camera while painting with watercolors because absolutely not. Um, in fact, quite the opposite. I really am doing this to just kind of, like, purge my, <laughs> my little sad emotions because I want to start making more stuff that fuels my creativity and, like, makes me feel more creatively fulfilled, but I just haven't been having the inspiration dude and it sucks and I feel like it's starting to come back but I feel like every time I say that in a video I jinx it and then I completely lose the inspiration all over again so I'm like scared to even say that in a video but you know what speak it into existence right that's what we're trying to do. The good thing about doing these videos, though, is I like making other people that feel this way feel like they're not the only one dealing with it because, sweetie, you're not. Haha, -ha, I'll tell you that right now. And, like, most of these people that you watch on YouTube and, and stuff, like, they only show the absolute best parts of their lives. I mean, shit, I do that, too, for the most part. I, I do make, like, quite a few videos about my mental health and stuff because I mm, helps to talk about it, you know? Plus I like being open with you guys and like I said, I like to make people feel like less alone and less crazy. I hate being sentimental. <laughs> I like said that and I was like, ew. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, me and Janae today watched 
the most recent episode of Grey's Anatomy. If you're not caught up on Grey's Anatomy, I won't tell you what happened, but if you are a avid Grey's Anatomy fan and watcher and are caught up and just saw the most recent episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And she was crying through the entire episode, but me, I, like, not just that, like, ooh, not like other girls, I don't cry, like, not what I'm even saying. I almost was, like, holding back laughter at some parts. It was almost like any time I started to feel like I should cry, I started to want to laugh instead. What is that? Am I okay? Because it was like a depressing, like, emotional episode. Oh, that's a whole nother topic, dude. I don't cry. I'm not even just talking about, like, TV, music, whatever. I don't cry unless I get, like, triggered by past emotional trauma. Like, very specific things will make me, um, break down. But other than that, bye and i hate it i'm not even saying it as like a ooh i don't cry hey y'all i'm tough ooh it's not healthy <laughs> like i feel like i can't release emotions is i'm getting a little too deep but it's weird it's weird therapy ha 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 but ew the, like then at the same time it, it, the thought of crying in front of my therapist even though they probably see that every day of their lives from their clients. Bye. No thanks. No thank you. Is this pink? Ew, it's pink. I want red. Sorry, that was weird. I just wanted to make one big, like, drip going down, but that's still not really what I wanted to do. Hey! Ooh. Whoa. Oh, <gasps> yo. I like this one. Ooh, I like this one. I don't know, dude. There's just like so much in my little brain right now. I don't even know what to talk about. I, I want to do so much. Like, that's the worst part about feeling depressed is like having all these things you want to do, but just literally having zero, not desire, but like drive to do it. Like you're kind of just like, eh, I don't feel like it, kind of, you know? Like that would be cool, that would be fun, that would make me feel creatively fulfilled if I really put the effort into it, but I don't feel like it. And that's the worst part, and that's what I'm trying to, to get over right now. Because I do have a decent amount of ideas. It's coming back though, it is. I already said that, you get it. See, now I'm starting to feel insecure about this video because I filmed a video, like I think around Halloween, that was a lot like this, except worse. <laughs> like, no setup, like literally just the camera. And I was sitting on my couch looking like a rat, just complaint like pure negativity like it wasn't even like funny or I don't even think there was anything positive in it at all maybe though I haven't really watched it since I filmed it but it was gonna be kind of like this but I just I didn't feel good about it or no dude oh my god no I went to upload it and this had never happened to me before but YouTube just like would not process the video like it would not either process it or upload it or something and I kind of just gave up and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll, I'm gonna stop trying to upload it for today and I'll wait on it, think about if I even still want to post it. So I waited on it and then I ended up being really glad that I didn't post it and <laughs> not to like get all crazy on y'all, but part of me was literally like, bitch. That's the universe telling you that, you know, you shouldn't have posted it. Like, that was a little sign, you know? And Loki, I still believe that. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't post it. Not that it was, it wasn't like crazy personal or anything. It was just like, not something I would have wanted up, you know? Like, this is still kind of meh, but it's not, it's better than, than what that was. <laughs> 
You know what else is something weird that like I've been noticing myself doing recently? I'll see pictures or videos of myself from like 2018, early 2019 and get so in my feelings. And it's a weird flip from what it used to be. Because it used to be, I would look back at old pictures of myself from say like 2015, 16, 17 and be like, ew, I was so ugly. Thank God I don't look like that anymore which like, I really didn't even look that different, but not the point, to now I look at pictures and videos of myself from 2018, 2019, and I'm like, wow, I looked so much better then. I look awful now. And I've never felt that way before in my life. <laughs> like, it's weird. And I what, what I'm about to say is like, might sound a little sensitive, um, but it, I don't, it's not, like, it's really not, that big of a um concern of mine but it has crossed my mind for the first time in my whole life that I'm gaining too much weight my whole life it was the opposite it was I was too skinny I was too skinny I had no like hips you know I had no thickness in the back ew or in the front shit so then I kind of like growing up took for granted that I could eat literally whatever I wanted to and wouldn't gain anything which was true. But then like recently I'm like, oh no, I took that for granted too much and now I'm gaining weight. It's not my body, it's my face. Like I feel like, I don't really feel like it so much anymore, but for a while there I was like, bitch, my face looking thick. Or it wasn't even that my face was looking thick. It's like, you know, I got the scoliosis, right? And I'm constantly paranoid that it's getting worse. Sorry, I like have I've completely stopped painting, but it's because I wanted to let it dry before like doing anymore. Oh, well, I guess I can go back to this one. So I'll be like, oh my God, my neck looks mad short. Like my neck is already short, but it looks even more short now for some reason, somehow, bars. I look ugly. I look like I'm like this, you know? I look like I'm like this. And it's just, it's been weird, man. That's getting better. I haven't been as crazy about my appearance lately. And by that, I mean, like, I haven't been obsessing over it as much. What other colors can I throw into this? What if I do, like, a light blue? Would that be weird? I also want to reiterate that, like, all the things that I'm talking about in this video, I'm talking about them because I'm currently making progress with them. Does that make sense? I'm, when I'm sitting here telling you about, like, the body image thing and the, like, depression thing and motivation thing, like, I don't want y'all to be, like, super concerned for me because the fact that I'm sitting here filming this video is, like, a, a sign that I'm all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, uh, hold on. This looks tight. I want to get a little precise here for a second. Can't really be super precise with watercolors, I feel like. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not an artist. I need to start doing this even just not for videos. <laughs> like, actually. I have, I guess I have this like subconscious idea that I can only do certain things for videos. I can't just do them in my daily life. What is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like, I feel like if I don't film it and share it with the world, it's not real. Wow, that's toxic. <laughs> Dude, that looks pretty cool. So I have an idea that I want to do for this one, but I'm scared because it will ruin it if I mess up. I want to write on it because it looks like the sun. Like, I really like the way the colors turned out. So like, I don't really want to mess with that. But I, I want to write, you are the sun, which is corny. But we were talking about Grey's Anatomy, and that's a Grey's Anatomy reference. And I think that would be cute. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with acrylic paint. You no, know, you know, maybe I should do it with a watercolor. Because I think if I do it with an acrylic, I'll mess up. I, I just, I feel like I'll mess up. Because at this point, I'm used to using the watercolors. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay. Okay, somehow I ended up trying to do it in cursive, which I'm regretting. I'm definitely regretting you. It already looks, <laughs> looks kind of trash. Oh God, this was not the right brush choice. It's like hitting my shoulder, dude. It was a third grader did it. I knew it would ruin it. I mean, you are the sun. 
I mean, the message is cute. The, the concept is, is cute, right? It's probably gonna look even worse when it dries. It's art. This one, I really like. I did a lot of it kind of off camera because the camera died. This video is already very long. So um, I do kind of want to start wrapping it up. But yeah, so basically I've just been having one of those rough patches. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. Just know I'm not going anywhere at all. I'm here. I'm streaming on Twitch still pretty pretty often, so follow me over there if you don't. I hope this video was something. I hope I said all that I want to say. Like, I'll probably turn the camera off and start editing this and think of 10 things that I didn't say that I wanted to say. Oh, there is something else I wanted to say. Shit, okay, I'll, I'll keep it short. Ha 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 ha. Um, the same thing that happened the last time I filmed a paint and rant video, um, happened again before I filmed this video. And, like, I think embarrassingly is contributing to my, like, um, nasty headspace. I posted a TikTok, which was very stupid and for some reason got a bunch of attention. And not to call this person out, that's not what I'm trying to do whatsoever. Because, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. But somebody said, I'm a subscriber who's just waiting for content that takes effort. I still support you though. Or like something along those lines. And that got to me as well. Just like the one in 2018 did. It was like an internal like conflict because I was like, it's just like one person saying that. But the comment got like likes on it. So I was like, oh, people agree with them. Like, I'm trash. My channel's dying. This is it. Like, I, I've peaked. Like, I'm not going anywhere else. Just kind of fed into the insecurities I was already feeling. That is a sign, again, like I said in 2018, that I need to breathe. I still plan on posting next weekend. I just need to breathe for like two seconds. And that's what this video was for me. So I really appreciate you watching it. I appreciate if you made it all the way through. I appreciate you just being here and just being here for existing. And if you're going through any type of depression or anxiety or, cause that's another thing, I didn't even get into that, but my anxiety has been just as bad as my depression. So the two of them teaming up, really fucking tight, dude. It's been really cool. Um, but seriously though, if you are dealing with anything similar, uh, just know that you're not alone and I'm rooting for you and you'll be fine, which I know is really ugly and generic and cliche, but you're still valid for feeling whatever you're feeling. And don't let anybody convince you that you're not because you are. Okay, thank you again, and I will see you next time, very soon. It won't be long, I promise. Love you, bye. It's about to be 4 a.m. I love that for me. <laughs>